Estelle, are you in there? Joshua? Dinner's ready. Just to let you know, we'll be having roasted basil chicken and onion soup cretin. That sounds so good. I'll come down later. So why don't you two go on ahead and eat? Well, make sure to come down before your food gets cold. The Wheel of Fortune, again. Something really is going on. I just can't see what it is. Hmm? Where's Estelle? Hmm. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. It's not surprising she doesn't want to come out of her room. Seeing as how she, close she is with her father. So what do you think about all this, Shara? Is it an accident or an incident? To be honest, I couldn't say either way. Your dad is a top-class bracer. When it comes to crisis management, he's the best there is. Whichever it is, if your father happens to be there, it'll be resolved. But the fact is, an airliner along with your father has gone missing. In other words, what you're trying to say is that things that shouldn't have happened happened, right? be a stout wall of support and bear us still up. I'll get to work tomorrow and see what I can find out. <laughs> Estelle, are you okay? I'm so hungry I thought I was gonna pass out! Oh, this looks so good! Appetit. Aren't you two having any? This is great! The basil flavor really comes out when you roast it. You sure know how to cook, Joshua. <laughs> Come on, Shara. Don't you just sit there, too. Do you want to drink some of my dad's brandy from his secret stash? I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of uh, Sten Rose that's about 20 years old in there. Did you say Sten Rose? And 20 years? Yes, yes she did. Shara, what do you think you're doing? Hmm. By the way, what were you doing up in your room? You didn't come down even after Joshua called you for supper. What? <laughs> I'm having a bit of trouble finding one of my favorites because it was stuffed in the back of one of the drawers. <laughs> oh, and a set of gear for traveling. I mean, who knows how long we'll be gone, so we... So I figure as long as we're prepared, we'll have nothing to worry about. You intend to head to Bose and find your father. Well, duh, that's a no-brainer. And while I can't imagine anything bad happened to him, despite his horrible luck, waiting around just doesn't suit me, so I'm gonna go check things out for myself. Whether it's your positive attitude or thick skin, I can't say, but... What? You're so rude, Joshua! Yeah, like seriously, Joshua. Come on. But you're coming along too, right? 
Of course. Hmm. Yep, so we'll have to go by foot. Hmm. I don't think it's too, too far. For a bracer on foot, if they can hurry, they can make it there in about half a day. But if that... If that's the route you're taking, that makes things easy. I think I'll tag along as well. But aren't you busy with a bunch of jobs? Hey, I trained under your father, right? Did you honestly think I'd sit here while something could have happened to the person I owe so much to? I'm going to have a talk with Aina and have her pass my jobs at the kill to another member. We really appreciate this, Shara. You really shouldn't be thanking me, you know. I just can't leave a job as big as this up to a bunch of newbies. <laughs> that face, though. Oh well, since Cher is along for the ride now, I do feel a bit more confident. We appreciate you coming with us. Anyway, let's make sure to drop by the guild tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll need to explain the situation to Aina. Chapter 1 Disappearance of the Lind! I'm just gonna disappear of the Lind. There we go. I understand the situation now. To be frank, though, with Sherazar taken off after Cosius, I'm gonna be really short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. I really appreciate this, Aina. Make good use of Ridge while we're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal work mode. <laughs> don't worry, if things get too hectic, I'll ask for help from the Grenzel branch. By the way, Shara, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk with you about the job you were going to do. Estelle, Joshua, could I have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Uh, Shara, if we're going to be waiting, would you mind if we did it in front of the clock tower? I'd like to say hi to someone. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, then let's meet up in front of the clock tower. As soon as I've been here, I'll head over there myself. Septian Calendar 1075, erected in partnership with the Liberal Royal Family, Septian Church, and Roland City. Septian Calendar 1192, destroyed during the Hundred Days War when Roland was bombarded by the, uh, er by the Erbonian Imperial Army. 97, rebuilt with the cooperation of the citizens of Roland. Every time I see this clock tower, I always think. They sure did a superb job restoring it after the war. You can sure feel the spirit of Roland's people from this. Joshua, what do you think about going up with me and waiting until Shara shows up? Okay, come on. The morning air is so refreshing. Hey look, Joshua, we can see our house from here! 
You're right, I can see the roof. But do you want to tell me what's going on since you're always avoided coming up here? I was under the impression that you didn't like this place. I like this place, but I just can't casually come up here. Because this is the place where my mother died. Ten years ago, during the war, when the Imperial Army surrounded Roland, they bombarded the symbol of the city, the Clock Tower, to try and get the citizens to surrender. That was at the time Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I wanted to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the Clock Tower, and when the bombardment started, I couldn't get away. When I came to, I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rubble. And as I cried, she sang my favorite lullaby. But when they finally dug us free, after the war ended and this place has been rebuilt, I avoided coming here for the most part. It's not because I have painful memories of this place, though. It's just, when I come up here, a part of me wants to, so much to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt like I can't always be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. But today is okay, right? Relying on her just this once. Asking her to bring Dad home safely. Asking her to protect him. And don't worry, Dad's safe for sure. Your mother is protecting him. There's no doubt in my mind that he is safe. And if he happens to be in a bit of trouble, then you can come to his rescue. Just like your mother did for you, you can do the same for your dad. Don't forget, I'm here helping you too. I know I can't completely understand everything you've been through. Excuse me. But I can stay here by your side as I am now. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you've always got mine. So... <laughs> you shouldn't say things like that so lightly. Yeah, Joshua, you'll give a girl the wrong idea. <laughs> Are you seriously the type who's gonna have problems with romantic relationships in the future? It kind of seems like he is. I'm already starting to get worried. Well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Why do you have to be like that when someone is genuinely worried about you? Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. <laughs> Don't be so mad. I really am thankful, believe it or not. So how do we get down from here? I'm sure Cher is waiting for us. Hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. You can do it, Estelle. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
why my cheeks even felt a bit hot just thinking about it. What need? Raise his eyebrow. Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see you when you looked up when I looked up to check the time. I sure wish I had an herbal camera to get a shot of that view. What are you trying to say, Shira? That's called family bonding. Plain and simple. It's kind of like your habit of hugging everyone after you your third bottle of wine. <laughs> You really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah. I see. Then it looks like... You're all set. You know, Lena's protection is equal to that of a goddess. The goddess herself. Your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed! Yeah, when I was a child. I was still in a trope at the time. A trope of, in a traveling circus, Cheryl was a dancer. Although it was a long time ago, we first met when she came to Roland with the circus. Twelve years ago, to be exact, I was eleven and Estelle was four. And because of that chance encounter, when I become a bracer, I trained under your father. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime when I get the chance. Are you ready to head out for Bose? With the airliner flights cancelled, we'll just have to make our way to Bose the old-fashioned way. First, we'll need to make our way to the Vert Bridge checkpoint. Yep, I've been there. 